In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for K plus, the potassium ion. But before we do that, let's just look at K, potassium, as it's found on the periodic table. So on the periodic table, K, that potassium, it's neutral. It doesn't have a plus or minus charge, so it's not an ion. In fact, the number of protons and the number of electrons, they're the same. So for potassium, in that outer shell, that highest energy level, we have one valence electron, and we represent that right here. In fact, the elements in group one with potassium, they all have one valence electron. So if we want to make this K plus, we're actually going to lose this electron because when we lose a negative charge, that makes us more positive. So let's do the Lewis structure for K plus. So to make this potassium into K plus, we get rid of the electrons, just the one here in the highest energy level. That makes it the potassium ion, K plus, and we might as well remove this outer shell because there's nothing in it at this point. So right now, this K plus, that's a good representation for the Lewis structure for the potassium ion. But you'll notice that when we've lost that outer shell, we lost the outer shell on the potassium with the one valence electron. Underneath that, we have eight valence electrons. We have an octet, this highest energy level that's full. And that's why potassium loses this electron. It gives this electron away when it bonds with another element, and then underneath it has this outer shell that's full, it's like a noble gas, it's very stable. One more thing we might do is add brackets around the K for our K plus here. That's something you might see every once in a while. Either way is okay. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for K plus, the potassium ion, and thanks for watching.